this is what we gotta go through. Look at this. What are you look at? What are you look at this? They don't want to go anywhere. They don't lay down, sit down, and look at you like you the craziest thing I've ever seen in their life. Until they decide to move. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I get my dogs once in a while, once in a blue moon. This is just for a little snack. This is a snack. This is the first time I'm giving four months old tank one, but um, and if you can hear the noise in the background, tank is going to town. Summit, it's a little bit chilling a little bit, but I have raw beef soup bones and they were frozen. So they have to start working on them a little bit to unthaw them, but let me show you what we got. So here goes Summit. She is, as you see, enjoying hers. And let me show you who's really enjoying his. Mr. Greedy, four months old tank. Greedy as they come. He is going to town. He has been nonstop on his. So, you know, once in a while, you gotta do some things where, as we know, you cannot give dogs cooked bones because they splinter. Raw bones is fine. They might not even like, I doubt if they devour and eat these whole bones, but they will crunch and chew a little bit of meat and whatever fat that's on the bones. It'll help with their chewing, with their, both of them are puppies. Four months old, 50 pounds, and she is 10 months old, and she is like 95 pounds. So, little snack. Treat the dogs right. And also, too, it also goes by the breed of dog you have. You don't want to give a little, well, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to say, I was going to say, you don't want to give a chihuahua a bone. I mean, who knows? I mean, give a dog a bone is give a dog a bone. You know what I mean? We got to think about what we eat. We got to do a little variety of our diet here and there. We can't just always just give them dry old kibble, boring dog food. You got to do some different things, mix it up a little bit with them. And that's why my dog's coats are so beautiful and healthy. This is why a lot of dogs have joint problems and things because they don't have the different fish oils or, or whatever that is going to help to lubricate those joints. So yeah, I just want to do a little quick little video, nothing big, nothing major, of raw beef soup bones, having a ball. And yeah, it doesn't matter what age, you can start at three weeks. Honestly, you know, it's up to you. Because like I said, it's only a little snack here and there. It's nothing that I give them on a daily basis. And Tank is four months old, and that's the first time I gave him this. I've given him raw food before, but the first time I'm giving him a raw beef soup bone. They love it. And like I said, I got them frozen. I gave it to them frozen. They might take a minute before they decide to... To get it because I put it in their food bowl. Tank immediately jumped on it, but Summit right here, she hesitated and waited for a little while, and she was watching how Tank was having a ball, and then she decided, eh, okay, I guess it's time for me to get in there. And once they start crunching and munching and licking and this, that, and other, it does not take long for it to defrost for them. It's good. The coolness on their teeth and gums is, is a good thing anyway. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget... I have another channel, H underscore T underscore Homestead. That shows the 40 acres project that we're going to be working on next because we are in this small cooped up apartment because we sold our home to get, we got the 40 acres first, then we sold our brand new home after only a year and a half just so that we can have more space, have fruit trees, have vegetable gardens, have nice space for the dogs to run 
and roam because these are going to be big dogs. Their dogs, these dogs, as we know, a lot of people may not know, these dogs are farmer's dogs. So they work real good when they're protecting livestock, when they grow up with livestock. You know, they're great with family, great with kids. They're excellent protectors. They don't bark to just be barking. So if they bark, best believe it's something going down. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Love you guys, man. Subscribe, man. Like, comment. Yo, somebody comments, comment on their comment. We all one big happy family here, man. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.